Welcome to today's public information briefing. I'm Frederick County Executive Jan Gardner. We know that having a job is fundamental to having a high quality of life. That's why from day one my, in my administration, we've made creating jobs a top priority. A community stays strong and competitive when it creates jobs that leverage new ideas and when it has a diversity of business and industry. In fact, over the past two years, we've added almost 4,200 new jobs over nine different industry sectors. And that really reflects that we have a diversity of opportunities. And it helps us to retain our young people, the next generation of business and community leaders. And we certainly need to keep our young people, those young adults in our community, who will ensure our long-term economic prosperity. My vision is to create all kinds of interesting jobs in Frederick County, jobs that will attract and interest people with a wide variety of skills and interests, and attract those millennials because we need them to replace those of us who are baby boomers as we retire. In January of this year, I announced a first step towards making that vision a reality with the creation of the Business and Technology Cultivation Center, located in a county-owned building at 118 North Market Street in downtown Frederick. Inside the Cultivation Center, entrepreneurs and people with good ideas will find a culture of big thinkers, where everyone is working together to create a strong and diversified environment to grow ideas, grow businesses, and grow jobs. And it's really all about taking advantage of innovation. Downtown Frederick is the perfect location. It's the center of our community. It's a vibrant and active place. It's an award-winning downtown. And it's the hub of our county's business, shopping, entertainment, and social life. It's hip and historic. It's where things are happening. My vision for the Cultivation Center is for it to be a collaborative center that jumpstarts and energizes new job growth in Frederick County to ensure a bright future and our economic prosperity. Locating services in one place to support businesses and businesses of all sizes and all stages under a single roof is really a cutting edge approach. We are creating a team and a culture within the Cultivation Center to support business development. Just as private businesses need a brand, so people know who they are and what they do. The partners in the Cultivation Center needed a brand and a name that was a little different than the Cultivation Center to let people know what this new center and this new location was all about. So today, I'm excited to unveil that brand with the name of the building and a new logo. The process to develop that um, brand was collaborative. All of the major tenants are working together to identify key words, ideas that spoke to the purpose of the center. This process was guided by the consultants at the Verve Partnership. So I'm going to ask Verve's managing principal, Kelly Ennis, to talk more about the process in just a moment. The people who Kelly worked with are representatives from each level of the Cultivation Center. They're Helen Profiter, our Director of Economic Development, which is located on the third floor of the building. Elizabeth Cromwell, who's the president and CEO of the Frederick County Chamber of Commerce, who's just moved into the second floor. And Kathy Callahan Brady, the executive director of the Frederick Innovative Technology Center, Inc., which we fondly call FITSI. FITSI will be launching a new technology-focused business incubator on the first floor, which will be the county's second business incubator. Kathy Callahan Brady could not be with us today, so we will be watching a tape statement from her in a few minutes. I'd like at this time to invite Helen, Elizabeth, and Kelly to come up and join me as we unveil the new name and the new logo. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three. So we are about growing businesses, growing jobs, and growing requires strong, healthy roots. As the tagline says, dig deep to, in order to cultivate tomorrow. So now I'm going to ask Kelly Ennis from the Verve Partnership to talk about how we arrived at the name Root and the logo um, that you see here today. After Kelly speaks, I'll ask the partners to say a few words about how this name connects with their organizations. So with that, I'll turn it over to Kelly. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 
The word root stems from growing businesses and growing people and growing organizations. Before we talk about the actual logo and the name, let's talk a little bit about the building and the people who are going to be occupying the building. As Jan mentioned, on the first floor, we will have Fitzy. Fitzy is an incubator, is really about planting seeds, and it's about cultivating and nurturing and growing business businesses. As we come to the second floor of the building with Elizabeth's group, we're in the next phase of, of forming those relationships and, and really growing those businesses, ending at the third floor with Helen's group in, in the Office of Economic Development, where you have grown your business to the fullest extent and you're ready to go out into the world and just keep on growing within the county. The logo is very representative of the way the building is structured. The angle, starting at the top, represents the incubation phase where you're only growing a little bit on the first floor. But as you travel through the word and the letters, much like you travel through the building, you are growing even taller and taller within the base of the soil with which all of the companies, with all the seeds have been planted. And that is why the color on the bottom is a little bit darker and the color of the building buildings are a little bit, the letters of the building are a little bit different. And you're growing from the roots, which are the base. Elizabeth? Well, thank you. The Frederick County Chamber of Commerce is delighted to uh, be a part of this building and to partner with the other organizations. Uh, the way I look at ROOT as it relates to the Chamber is that um, there are a lot of ROOTs that come together to create something big. Uh, the Chamber is the largest Chamber of Commerce in the state of Maryland. We have many, many companies. And really, it's our goal to work together and to find common ground and to speak with a really strong voice. And so uh, when, when we were working on uh, the creation of this name, I thought it was uh, really great for us. And we look forward to a long and collaborative relationship with our partners, and uh, we're delighted to, to get going here. Thanks. I'm Helen Profiter with Economic Development, and when we thought of the name Root, it just made sense for economic development. Our goal is to provide supportive services so that businesses can grow and become rooted in Frederick County. That's what economic development is. So the Office of Economic Development does this through a um, uh, retention and expansion program for those businesses who are already here. Um, and at the same time, we work to bring businesses in um, in hopes that they cultivate uh, their businesses here and begin to get rooted in our community. Um, we are continually growing our diverse business uh, economy um, as we welcome businesses from all industries. Um, but our greatest successes have come from sharing the stories of the businesses who have dig deep and created successes in industries like life, uh, life science, technology, manufacturing, and small businesses. Um, all of these we're welcoming into our center, um, and this building is going to provide a per perfect location for businesses to access all the services they need to be successful. Um, we're excited to be in the beginning stages of implementing this center, and um, we really believe that this will be a legacy, um, not only for Frederick County, but for the region in years to come, and we're so happy to be a part of it. Um, and Root is the perfect name for the building that we're all going to be located in. Uh, we look forward to be uh, a part of this and to work with our partners to strategically increase the number of businesses that take root in Frederick County. So at this time, I think we're going to uh, cut to Kathy uh, Callahan Brady, who's going to have a few words about what this means for Fitzy. Hi, so I'm Kathy Callahan Brady, and I am. Uh, I have the pleasure of running Frederick's Innovative Technology Center. Um, it's our incubator and our accelerator here. And today, I'm pretty excited. Um, not only because we're unveiling the name, but also because it means we are one step closer to our grand opening. Um, Jan asked us to talk a little bit about the name and what it means to Fitzy. And I know when I first came in as a CEO. Um, 
I knew that we needed a culture change and we were going to change things that what we've been doing for the past 10 years was going to be a challenge. We we're going to change the way that we are doing business from a CEO driven organization to a community driven organization. Um, and when you look at this center and all of us coming together and the people that are going to be housing in this center, we are a community. And so, and, and then if you look at the process that Kelly had talked about to design the name as well as the design for the first floor of the incubator, all of that was created by a community too. So we're off to this really great start of a new center and a brand new culture. The only thing that we need to do at this point is get the first floor done and so we can actually come in and join the community. Looking forward to it. Okay, I want to thank uh, Helen and Elizabeth and Kathy and Kelly for um, all of their work to bring this project to this point. There are many other uh, key players who deserve to uh, be acknowledged and recognized. Even though they may not be tenants of ROOT, they helped to make this project possible. So I want to thank Kara Norman, who is with the Downtown Frederick Partnership. Kara always brings good ideas and incredible knowledge to any project, and she really helps to accomplish a lot in hip and historic downtown Frederick. The Downtown Frederick Partnership wrote a grant application that allowed us to move forward with the branding for ROOT and with the design for this building. Additional funding came from the City of Frederick's Department of Economic Development, so I want to thank the Mayor and Director Richard Griffin for their support for this project. County staff really works very closely with the City on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, I think we work together seamlessly in Frederick with all of our partners, and we work to support all of our smaller municipalities as well so that they can retain and attract businesses. I also want to publicly thank the Secretary of the Department of Housing and Community Development, Secretary Ken Holt, who has championed this project. He took one walk through this building about two years ago, and the building was empty, and, but he immediately saw the possibilities and became excited about it. His personal involvement in this project enabled the Chamber to receive a grant of $150,000 from the Department of Housing and Community Development to fund some of the renovations of this space. I also want to thank some of our other partners, specifically our partners at Fort Detrick. Major General Barbara Holcomb and Barry Datloff with the U.S. Army Medical Research and Material Command um, joined with us uh, in the county to sign a unique partnership agreement that will help Frederick County businesses to take the ideas, the research, the discovery that's developed at Fort Detrick and help to take that information, that knowledge, those ideas, and grow them into new products and new services that um, the community can benefit from. This is called tech transfer. And we want to really encourage tech transfer to be an important part of ROOT so those ideas can grow in our community and we can collaborate and create more jobs. Finally, I want to thank the Division of Public Works in Frederick County Government. Much of the renovation work in this building has been done by our Public Works staff, and they really have done an amazing job, and they do it at a lower cost to taxpayers. So I have to give them kudos because they are truly awesome. So what's next? What's next for ROOT? The Chamber of Commerce will officially open their offices inside ROOT in a few weeks, and we expect a ribbon cutting to be forthcoming. Later this summer, we will begin implementing some of our initiatives with the Army Medical Research and Material Command to create a closer collaboration and relationship for area companies interested in tech transfer. And then, hopefully by the end of this calendar year at the begin or the beginning of 2018, the FITSE incubator in this building will be complete, and we can hold a big celebration, a big grand opening of ROOT with all of its partners in place. And I know that we already have some businesses ready to move into our incubator. The incubator space will be unique, funky, and flexible. And again, Kelly and her team at Verve came up with the innovative and funky and flexible ideas, certainly it wasn't me, to encourage collaboration among the startup businesses that will be located in the incubator. Finally, we are also in discussions with our partners in education about way, ways ROOT can support our students, whether it's through research or internships or in other ways. We know it's very important to create that pipeline of workers, and we're really trying to encourage that from the middle school level all the way up to get kids interested in STEM and innovation jobs. 
And so our work for our our businesses really want to make sure that we have that workforce. So we want our education partners involved right from the beginning and to be able to co-locate right here with us. Because we have so many partners in route, we know it may be difficult for business owners to know where to start. So we've created a one main point of contact for everything that happens at Root. So when people come in the door, the first person they'll see is Britt Schwarzlander, and she will help you navigate your way through Root. She'll guide businesses to the services and organizations so that they can connect to what they need. We're also constructing a new website called rootfrederick.com, and when it's complete, you'll be able to find information on the services available in the building, as well as all the tenants and connections to all the tenant websites. I'm really excited about the progress we've seen with Root since we announced it in January. The space where we made the announcement on the first floor looks completely different today than it did a few short months ago, as it be begins to be shaped into our new Fitzy incubator. The second floor uh, looks fabulous. It's great to have our chamber unpacking and getting ready to open their doors. Frederick County is really lucky to have such a vibrant location in the heart of our vibrant downtown city of Frederick. This is where our business hub is. This is where a lot of good things happen. We're also very fortunate to have innovative people who work together collaboratively and creatively to take all those new ideas to the next level. Root is cutting edge. It is the first of its kind, and it is proof that Frederick County means business. So thank you for joining us today, and stay, mo stay tuned for the next steps for Root.